Hello everyone. Good, good. Thank you. How are you? Hi, my name is Sanula Costa. I'm Physical Performance Coordinator for Gillon Cats uh, AFLW program. It has been a great rewarding time for me with the girls program and Gillon Cats as uh, bringing in the athletics technical elements of uh, um, mobility work and then also at athletics technical ability to bring that speed component for the uplifting of this game. Well done over the week, um, that was good and proud of you all and most importantly the your development and everything. Credit to you all, your hard work you can pay off over there. Right, that's what the session is all about today. Hard work you pay off in your game. Good. For them to feel, uh, play the football, they need to be fit. That's the key of my role, to bring up where uh, the girls has been on the bottom of the ladder when I was taking and then my ambitions and my challenges and the goal was to lift these girls. So that's what the key of this one was making them fit. That's how my coaching is, to make the player stronger and fitter. That means the conditioning level improve as in each and every individual player with a different ability. Nice and control posture. Drive arms back, that's the speed. Okay, ready, foot to the knee. Fast arm drive, fast arm drive, pull it back. Pull it, run forward faster. And relax. For me to convince the girls what I'm doing, um, that wasn't easy. And then since I've started and explaining the technical element and how is the speed uh, comes to your sport and what is the technical element and then how it's done with a lot of technical drills and things. They are very skillful footballers and once you bring it into that speed and conditioning component and they actually flying at the moment. Good! All with the arm drive, technique, toes up, toes up, toes up. Good, pick up the pace now, this is a different pacing. This beginning of this preseason, I spoke with them for values of <clears throat> this program, what we try to do, and explaining the value of uh, they personally working on their weaknesses and the things they could improve and on and off the field for what they need to be individually as a player, how to develop, and then they take on board and mainly the mobility recovery and then sleep patterns and then. Um, to be accountable as a player, individual player, if each and every one of them, if they do that, and then all team come as a group and lifting up to the reaching their goals and um, developing the path where they need to be. Always key is for girls uh, to stay relaxed and enjoy the sport and have fun. And that's the key of everything, every sport, every job, even for us. And if you're not enjoying, if you're not having fun, if you keep that stress and strenuous feelings in your body, that's where you get injuries and things coming up. Without running, training harder, you don't have that training. Um, you cannot put that run into the game. Right, that means today we start in the next phase of training. That means training hard. Bowen. Just waiting off that stoppage. Driscoll there, she at two. Stan it though, knocked it straight to Parry. Trying to make amends across to Crockett Grills. The snap to go, they finally break through. They've had their chances, the Cats. Uh, that is a big blow to land to start this final term. Why to Morrison, maybe one last chance for Geelong as they surge forward. And that will do it in the West, a domination from Geelong, a brilliant start to the season for the Cats who make it two from two. Okay, we've done this before. You've been in this position many, many times before. Now it's about sucking it up a little bit, all right? Thinking back to these things here, about where you fit. Where do you fit? Where's it start? For me, elite pressure on board. Elite, which means in their grill, tackle pressure up, do it again. Two kicks and you win the game. Okay, two kicks and you win the game. Come on, ladies. Go, 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 go,
Derby get a boot to it. Bowen. Well, there's a free kick for holding. Georgie Clark from directly in front to kick the Cats first, and she makes no mistake. She wanted to move it quickly. Barber. And it was a good decision because Alan's on the end of it. That can happen when it's high stakes in the last quarter and the pressure's on. So Geordie Allen really sinks her boot into it. I've sold her short. She's kicked the major. Had a couple of snaps late with just 21 seconds to go. It's really the pies to lose from here. Through, has a couple to beat. Malloy has her. Butler tries to drive on the boot. Nothing to it. Shield. She's taken it off. to the front. Outstanding from McDonald. Wriggles through all and sundry. Needs the kick to try and hit Parry and does. A totally different looking Geelong in the last 15 minutes of play. Outstanding, particularly in that third quarter. Six goals a D for her first as a cat. Hand on it from Rennie. Was she across the line? She was. Back to back matches for the Cats. Time against the Cats for a third. First four set it up for the Roos. Vicky Walls two were pivotal. North to two and two in season seven. I like to think that I'm someone who's pretty warm and, and welcoming and respectful of all people. And um, yeah, it doesn't have necessarily that competitive edge um, away from the field. I, I want to be someone who's kind of welcoming of everyone and, and create a space where people feel safe and comfortable. So equally so that with, you know, the, the opposition becoming the competition, I kind of go out in the field with the attitude that anyone who's wearing the same jumper as me is like, I'm going to look out for them and, and do everything I can to, to go to bat for them for that 75 minutes of play. So we had a session when I was still in rehab there was like a leadership sort of webinar thing and they asked us to kind of um, explore or to, um, elaborate on like what our kind of key core values would be as an individual. And I kind of walked away from that session um, in the car home and I remember I was like got quite emotional and I was thinking about the fact that the reason why footy kind of means so much to me and a lot of those key values that I identify with as an individual are things that I get through being at the footy club or, or playing and being a part of the team there. So I think that, you know, missing, missing time away is really hard, not only because you're kind of separated from the group and not doing what you want to do, but it like kind of robs you of an opportunity to tap into some of those things that fundamentally are really important. So you, you get such a deep sense of connection to, the, to players within a team and I think especially in, in footy clubs when there's so many of you um, it does become kind of like a family of sorts so and to show that um, no matter what's going on you'll kind of have their back and, and go into bat for them um, I think you're super important and yeah you just kind of get this get this sense of connection that um, no matter if they're your best mate or just someone who's on the same team as you kind of when you when you're in the same um, playing field as them, like you're all trying to achieve the same goal and, and work together as one. So um, you kind of have to have a sense of love and care for them and bring them along the way as well. So over the last couple of years, I think every every year I'm sort of in the club or in the position that I, I get sort of more comfortable with my ability to be able to influence the group or the connections that I've got or um, seeing that I've been there kind of since um, the club's beginning. So. Um, I guess, I guess in that sense, yeah, I'm as well placed as anyone to be able to show the way and lead the way about what it means to be a, a, be a Geelong person and be part of our team. So to ride that wave all the way through and be a part of a club from its foundation, and um, I really do believe that we, we've got a group that can achieve some really great things. So if we were able to make finals this year or, or compete really strongly against some opposition, then I think that, that is kind of the win for us. That. Um, but yeah, finals is obviously the main goal, so go get them.